Gender studies encompasses various fields such as feminist studies, gay and lesbian criticism, and queer theory, which often overlap. It emerged from literary and cultural theory, sociology, anthropology, and psychoanalysis, exploring the historical oppression of marginalized groups, the construction and representation of gender, and its intersection with race, class, and other divisions. Scholars like Gail Rubin and Michel Foucault have highlighted the constructed nature of gender, with Foucault showing that homosexuality was a category invented by the medical establishment. The gay rights movement in the US is often traced back to the 1969 Stonewall riots in New York City, where marginalized groups resisted police rights. Before this, marginalized communities had formed in cities like New York, San Francisco, and Los Angeles, leading to repression in the 1950s. However, policies towards gays had begun to relax in the 1960s, leading to further liberalization in the early 1970s, followed by, back by backlashes in both legal and social spheres. Repression solidified alternative communities, leading to their political activism and self-definition. Gay self-consciousness emerged in literature, art and popular culture. Even before the Stonewall riots, figures like Walt Whitman, Oscar Wilde, James Baldwin and Andy Warhol among others. By the early 1970s, the study of gay and lesbian topics was gaining momentum and developing a sense of theoretical awareness. For instance, in 1974, College English created an issue to exploring gay identity and establishing a literary tradition for the gay community. Similar to how women's studies highlighted gender as a key analytical category, lesbian and gay studies aim to emphasize the importance of sex and sexuality across various, various disciplines. The relationship between lesbian, gay studies and women's studies is a subject of ongoing discussion. Both fields focus on understanding the cultural aspects and societal attitudes towards sexuality. They share common goals of advocating for sexual liberation and personal freedom while challenging heterosexism and homophobia. Like feminism, lesbian gay studies seek to bridge the gap between academic inquiry and activism. Early scholars in the field include Guy Hockingham, Jeffrey Weeks, K.J. Dover, Lillian Federman, and Terry Cassidy. These scholars examine various aspects of homosexuality and lesbianism throughout history and literature. Gender studies, which emerged partly from feminist theory, was initially closely associated with feminism. However, by the 1980s, lesbian critics such as Boney Zimmerman began to challenge the assumption within feminism of a universal female identity, considering differences in race, class, and sexuality. Critics like those from the Radical Lesbian Collective advocated for a separate field of inquiry from mainstream feminism, asserting that lesbianism represented the purest form of feminism due to its emphasis on female autonomy and rejection of male-centric exploitation. Figures such as Jill Johnston, Adrian Rick, Gloria Anzildua, Monique Wittig, and Lucy Rigere contributed to the development of lesbian theory during the 1970s. Their work emphasized the importance of separatist lesbianism and explored the diverse experiences of women, women bonding against male domination. This era also marked efforts to integrate issues of sexuality, gender, and race. Barbara Smith's essay, Toward a Black Feminist Criticism, offered a lesbian interpretation of Toni Morrison's work, challenging stereotypes and reclaiming neglected traditions of lesbian thought. This period aimed to deconstruct misconceptions about lesbians and redefine the lesbian experience, while recognizing the diversity within lesbian identity and advocating for its autonomy. In the 1990s, a more radical approach known as, known as queer theory emerged, originating from a conference held at the University of California, Santa Cruz. 
Queer theory, a term initially used derogatorily but later embraced positively, was deeply influenced by post-structuralist ideas, particularly the rejection of fixed sexual identities and the understanding of identity as a construct shaped by cultural and ideological norms. Unlike earlier gender studies, queer theory focused more explicitly on sexuality rather than gender in shaping one's sense of self. Key figures in queer theory include, include Diana Fuss, Judith Butler and Eve Sedgwick, who challenged traditional distinctions between hetero and homosexuality. Butler's influential work Gender Trouble argued that gender is a performative act rather than an inherent trait, while Sedgwick's epistemology of the closet revealed phobia operates within society's norms. Queer theories like Simon Watney and Donna Haraway analyzed the AIDS epidemic and its portrayal in the media, while others like Michael Moon highlighted the queer aspects of presumed sexual normality. Artists like Robert Mapplethorpe sparked, pu sparked public controversy with their homoerotic imagery, challenging societal norms and government funding for art. Queer theory expanded its scope to include writers from diverse cultural backgrounds such as Garcia Lorca and Yukio Mishima.